increasingly in culture, in society, there is a much greater sense now that people have feel they have a right to engage and participate and contribute to what things can be. It's no longer enough just to have something that's put on a platform, be it on a concert stage or a, in a gallery, that people just come and look at or listen to passively. That is part of our offer, but we want to develop the sense, it's almost a sense of democracy and collaboration where people can come in and feel that they can be part of it through coming to a big Barbican weekender. They have a sense of seeing fantastic performances and events, but there are also workshops people can engage with um, and also that people are aware that if they want to go further with those participatory experiences, we have other things on offer that they can become part of and, and enjoy. Before I started doing the projects, I hadn't really been introduced to the Barbican at all. I didn't know where it was. I, um, I would never come up here. I would just see the building and think, what's that? I don't really care. But then through these projects, I've seen the London Symphony Orchestra a few times in the Barbican Theatre and all that kind of stuff. I've been seeing shows and there's a load of other things other than the project that the projects have led me to do. Because audiences demand more of the experience of being an audience as artists explore different avenues. Here, we're ready to react to that and respond to that and change in the way that artists make us change. You're building up a sustained and ongoing relationship with your audience, with people who participate in and engage with what we do. somewhere like the Barbican, or more importantly the Barbican and Guild all together, can offer society and we want that offer to go out to everyone and everyone feel connected to that.